Power to the Truth. This is a message to American activists. My name is Peter S. Lopez Acapita de Aslan, so you know. Even the term activist is subject to debate. Keep in mind that you know, there are reactionary evil activists and there are revolutionary progressive activists. So the term activist can have different meanings to different people. I consider myself a humane being, a Chicano de Aslan. I am not your typical American. Yet those who consider themselves as progressive activists, you know, I respect you and I applaud you. We need more, millions more. Here inside the USA, people have undergone a great barrage of fascist reactionary propaganda for decades. So we have to understand that people who may not be in agreement with progressive issues or progressive ideas, you know, even though we may consider them asleep, are actually awake, just not awake to certain issues that, that you're concerned about. So we need to you know, relate to the people's level of consciousness right now. You know, I supported uh, Occupy Wall Street. I support all progressive liberation movements in the USA and throughout the world. And my core basic agenda is a humane rights agenda. You know, based upon respect for, advocacy of, and upholding humane rights. Our rights are bestowed upon us as creatures of the Creator. You know, they are not necessarily given by the U.S. Constitution. You know, we are born with these rights wherever we are in the world. So we need to relate to the people's level of consciousness as it is right now and reach out to that consciousness and communicate with that consciousness as you seek to to raise that consciousness to understand you know bigger and wider what's going on in connected reality we do not always have to be right we do not always have to have the last word and we need to be able to indulge in criticism and self-criticism. You know, when that is done in a creative, unifying way, this is powerful. Criticism can be powerful to help us, to cleanse us from our, our own dirt. So, understand that as progressive activists here in America, you know, we have great challenges before us. You know, people are 
divided here in so many different ways. And there's a gulf between online activists and activists who are not online. You know, so we have to understand that 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 gap and try to bridge that gap. And we need to promote literacy, including computer literacy. We need to get as many people as we can onto the internet to increase mass media that provides alternative news and information. A classic example to me is Democracy Now! So, we here in the USA are in a key strategic location. You know, we have a lot of uh, A lot of work that we can do here that can be really beneficial for humanity in general. So in a way we're in a we have a special responsibility to humanity that others in other countries may not have. You know, we're in the brain of the beast. We're in the brain of the fascist beast. You know, what we do here can, can impact locally, countrywide, and globally. You know, so we need to appreciate, you know, where we are here and relate to the people's level of consciousness. For example, I still believe in Electoral politics. No, don't, don't, don't get scared. Electoral politics, registering people to vote, running for public office, at least on the local level, where we can have an impact, say, on, on our local city council, you know, board of supervisors, and potentially on the state level. Once you get into the federal level, the like presidential level, then you're talking about big bucks. So we need to, to work where we can be most effective and be realistic. Now when I talk to people about, you know, are they registered to vote and and if they're interested in voting, you know, why or, or why not? And, and I try to explain to them how, you know, those decisions that are made, you know, by politicians in public office impact on, on their lives, too. So whether they vote or not, they're still impacted by the results of elections. So I stress to them that they should consider at least getting registered to vote. You know, I, I can ask them, are you a American citizen? And if they are, you know, I say, well, how can you be an American citizen and you don't even vote? You know, maybe that's a guilt trip, maybe that's a little manipulation, but <laughs> I'm trying to stimulate them to, to uh, see themselves at least as, as a U.S. citizen and seeing their civic duties as U.S. citizens. You know, later on, you know, we can work on, on raising that consciousness, you know, to the level of being a global citizen of the world. You know, but we got to relate to the people's level of consciousness. You know, they understand about the voting thing, you know. They may not understand... Uh, the dynamics involving ideologies, you know, uh, be it socialism, be it uh, intercommunalism, 
you know, be it uh, any ideology that propels people into power. Remembering that power is being able to correctly define connected reality and then transform it in a desired manner. So, we need to relate to their level of consciousness and we need to be interested in what they're interested in. Even though it may not be our great interest, if it's of interest to people, you know, we should take interest in it. You know, whatever that is. Ask, ask them, you know, what kind of changes do you think this country needs? You know, what kind of good changes have, have happened that, that you support? You know, have you been involved in politics? You know, are you interested in reading? Do you work with a local Democratic Party or Republican Party or any kind of party? And so we can stimulate their their interest in, in getting involved in the people's politics. Not the fascist pig politics, but the people's politics. The people's politics that speaks to our basic human needs. You know, food, clothing, shelter, medical care, quality education, five basic survival needs that we all share in common with all people in all countries. You know, so we need to relate to the people's level of consciousness and get in tune with it in order to connect up with it then raise it to a higher level of understanding you know, where we're at, understanding what needs to be done understanding what can be done as for myself, I'm a straight up hardcore radical and even the question of being an activist or not is kind of moot to me. You know, I am who I am without any label on it. You know, I look at uh, our natural rights as human beings. You know, that certain conditions need to be transformed because it's right, because it's just, because it's natural. It's natural for people to want to be free. Natural for people to want to be living in peace and harmony with justice. I'm, I remember the Pledge of Allegiance. Liberty and justice for all. I was a, I was a little kid and I, and I was out there saying my Pledge of Allegiance. And I'm not that little kid anymore. But the, you know, the core concept of liberty and justice for all is a good one. You know, and people can understand that. You know, so we need to be able to speak in terms that people can understand, that they can relate to, they can identify with. You know, not just to use words to manipulate, use words to empower, use words to crack open that consciousness. We cracked open that consciousness with the truth, as we know it, you know, knowing that we're ignorant of all that we do not know. So we ourselves need to be need to be good students of life, you know, to spend time studying, so that we can better. Help to educate to liberate other people. So, you know, keep the faith. For sure, do not get hung up on, on the left wing, right wing crap. Left wing, right wing crap. That's crap. You know, that's part of, that's 
That's a fascist psychop now. You've got to wake up to, to what's, what's going on here. You know, a lot of mass manipulation going on among people's consciousness. A lot of mass distraction. A lot of big false flags. You know, and where people in mass say can, can get really taken away from where they should be focusing their attention on. You know, this could be, for example, the the New Age movement. You know, a lot of it is good and, and healthy and, and creative. Yet some of it is bullshit. You know, to uh, to distract people from the connected reality of what's going on now. You know, so we need to discriminate between what makes sense in our lives and what does not. You know, and not be having short attention spans. You know, we need to expand our ex attention span. I keep my videos down to about 15 minutes. I don't want to tax you. So, if you're a progressive activist, you know, I respect you. We need each other. Even though we have different issues and different concerns, you know, my, like I said, my core agenda is humane rights, which includes, for me, immigrant rights, you know, the rights of homeless people. The rights of prisoners, ending solitary confinement. Eventually, I want to shut down all prisons. To have a review of, of each case of each prisoner in terms of the legitimacy of that case. I mean, that person should just be set free. And if need be, we need to have good medical clinics to help people who have mental health issues, which many times are based in, in the spirit, you know. So, even though we approach the situation from different angles and perspectives, you know, we need to understand the power of unity, that we are one family of humanity. Power to the people. Namaste.